Chris L. Davis of AutomationBridge.com and I, I shot this quick video um, to show you how to create a horizontal styled opt-in form uh, and get response. Before we get started, I just want to make the quick disclaimer. Get response is code, uh, HTML code for your web form is by far the ugliest that I've ever seen um, when you compare it to, you know, the likes of AWeber, uh, MailChimp, even Office Autopilot and Infusionsoft. Uh, there's just a lot of nasty <laughs> lines of code uh, in their HTML that they choose to use like the CSS display none tag instead of actually deleting the fields that you don't use. And what I mean is, as you see, I just have an email and a button. So I don't have the name, the counter, privacy, all of that. I don't have any of that. So one thing that I will point out that you want to do is when you're creating your uh, your web form, make sure you go down here and add in a tracking tag so that you know where the people who are where the subscribers are coming from. Uh, Get response doesn't do this by default. If you don't do this under the tracking, it'll just say www. So there's no way for you to tell which site or which form which uh, web form is outperforming the others and where your conversions are actually coming from so anyway that's just a quick note and what you will want to do is go down here to, to and click on show HTML code and by default it'll have include CSS style you want to turn that off um, we don't need any of that extra code uh, so I'm just gonna copy the entire thing paste it in my program this is called Coda for Mac uh, it's just my preference for uh, a code editor HTML CSS PHP all of those things so anyways I have it in the split pane mode where I can visually see what the opt-in form is without the CSS as well as the code down here and as I mentioned I mean look at all of this code so you see I'm not using the name field however they still have all of the code for the name field and the only reason why it's not displaying is because of this Te this uh, CSS text here where it says display none whereas in other platforms they would just delete this code and not even not even uh, include it so anyways enough about that so two things that you need to do um, one is you need to go and identify where your email input is and right after the last input I delete all the code up until the submit button input delete that and you'll see just by doing that it's created the horizontal but certain browsers certain plugins uh, sometimes even WordPress will not interpret this as in line uh, like a horizontal so what you really want to do is make sure that the the two input tags are touching each other um, and then what I would recommend you do is delete all of the code up until the line item do that and then all of the code up into the closing line item and that by far is the strongest way uh, to get it inline opt-in form without really molesting a lot of the code and uh, taking a chance that you delete code that you need to actually uh, for your form to work so that's really all you need to do now let's pretty it up a little bit uh, another thing that I do is I get rid of this data placeholder yes and I change this value to say placeholder because this is optimized more across all browsers as allowing this text to be visible while you type in which is just a very nice feature um, and the last thing I like to do is go down to the submit button and delete all of the style code because we don't need it okay so that's how you create a horizontal a horizontal opt-in form and get response I'm gonna take it one step further uh, for the sake of this tutorial and I'm going to go to one of my previous buttons and copy this code I have I have my own CSS code that I use so I'll copy that 
and then we'll switch back to my form and the code goes right above the div and nothing is going to happen because I have to copy the item ID the web form ID and once I start copying and just pasting that ID into each CSS there we go so now I have a well a nicely designed opt-in horizontal opt-in form it matches my site I'm using this sky blue for my con conversion color uh, my call to action color for my buttons on my site and that's about it if I if I wanted to change you know anything in here I have you know the the button I've added the classes of the actual web form that get response ads so I don't have to delete as much and I can just replace the item number but you know if I wanted to change the color of the button right here this background I could just change it to black and there you go so uh, that's where I would make all of my edits is right in this area and what this looks like what's nice about it is this is the form that I just created and when you do the code like this, if you've got a responsive design, it will automatically stack vertical for you as you shrink that. Um, so it's really probably the most, it is the most powerful way to get a web form up on your site that's horizontally styled and it's responsive and it will automatically stack vertically um, on resizing and depending on the width of the element that it's within. So. Um, that's how you do it. That's how you create a horizontal opt-in form uh, for your website using GetResponse.